Let's have uh, Dean, can yeah. I see on your mark there, please? Place your hands behind your, your head. I think you probably want to get them a little closer. You're going to have them walk back a little bit. All right, walk back a little bit. <laughs> Be careful. When we knew we were going to have this shootout in episode 513, that would ultimately lead to poor Hank's demise and, and poor Gomez's demise as well. Very early on, I did my best to ensure that Michelle McLaren would get to direct that particular episode. Actually, well, today we are at Tahajli, and today is the day that Hank finally arrests Walt. Hey, Mark. Good luck, everybody. Ready for Brian? And action. Come ahead, Brian. When Walt comes here, Walt thinks that Jesse has uh, found his money somehow, and he's burning it. And Walt thinks that Jesse's coming, but the last thing in the world that he thinks is that the backup's going to be Hank and Gomez, and it is devastating. The betrayal from Jesse, you know, he's equally culpable in every single thing that we've done. That he's playing with the cops now. It's so mind-boggling to me that these two would be together. The face-off between Walt and Hank has been at the center of the story, and this is where it ends. Stop! Turn around! Well, you know, I knew it was coming, and I knew from the beginning of the season, uh, you know, Vince sat me down and kind of explained the arc. The thing about it is they allow Hank to catch him, because Hank says, all I want to do is slap the handcuffs on him, and he does. So in a way, his life had meaning in a way because he yeah. did what he had the goal that he wanted to do. Walter White, with the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. And then, you know, he makes a phone call to his wife, which Hank should never do because it always leads to shooting and getting bad stuff every time he calls his wife. Not that I wanted your character to go, but I was, I was happy with how they did it. Yeah. I oh. thought it was like it was do Hank. Like yeah. do the Hank that we love and respect and count on. It was a great it, way it to go. Was, it was do him. And action. Come ahead, Chucks. Come ahead. Who the hell is this? Tribal police? Jack and his guys pull up and they all pull out their guns and Hank and Gomez are out mad. Hey, police! Drop your weapon! And in that moment, Hank he knows this, he's done. He's, he's done for, but he's not going to go down without without trying, and he's not going to go down quietly. Because this is a massacre. All right, guys, we're going hot. Nothing more exciting on set when they go, guns are hot. Yeah. All right, weapons are going hot. Here we go. Weapons are hot. Here we go. Weapons are hot. Look at Kenny. All right, we're going to give Kenny a visual. That means he's going to look at you. He's got a little glance like you're doing, very subtle. And uh, then he fires the first shot, then you guys all let loose, okay? For budget and schedule reasons. The final version of the script yeah. was basically, at the moment, boom, 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 the firing starts, cut to black. Having said that, Michelle McLaren could not quite contain herself, and she wound up getting quite an amazing shootout. Here we go. Picture and action. excitement. <laughs> How did that feel, you guys? We said that was like uh, three Red Bulls. It was surprisingly intense, fucking man. intense. <laughs> yeah, <it was. laughs> like the ground is like, blah, blah, blah. what the fuck, man? Are they, they, are they really shooting at us? You don't even have to act when you start hearing yeah. that stuff, man. You just duck. Yeah. If I had a gun range next to my house, not a pot of coffee, I'd go right, yeah. shoot a couple off. You're buzzing oh, yeah. all day. That'll yeah. wake you up. Yeah. It'll wake you up in the morning for sure. It was, it was the gunfight created a wound. I. I my, the band, the holder part of my watch band broke. Broke. It broke. So I'm a casualty as well. <laughs> so how many takes did they get to do one of those? As many as we like. Yes. Yes. More the Until better. They run out of ammo. More the better. Right, right. I need another one! How many Nazis do I get before I go down? 
Yeah. Shouldn't we get one Nazi at least? How many times do you feel like you pulled the trigger before you Three. You break some windshields though. I break some windshields? <laughs> Good shooting. They're dust balls. We're firing on the ground to simulate the bullets ricocheting from their weapons in front of camera. Anyone that doesn't have to be next to a manned operated camera must be in a safety zone back behind our vehicles. So what's happening now is we have several hits that are going to happen on the Dooley and the Crown Vic, a variety of pistol and shotgun blasts that are being shot by Hank and Gomez, but of course they're not actually shooting them. Uh, our special effects team has rigged the hoods, the headlights, the windshields, the driver's side door with squibs that we have designed a certain timing and sequence for them to go off. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six cameras running on this. Like right around there. Yeah, I know. And Michelle is looking at every single camera to make sure it's exactly the shot she wants, because we only want to do this once. Is that what you had in mind? Yeah, that's really cool. We're scrambling very quickly because the light, as you can see, the shadow is right there. And we're going to shoot this shot before the sun goes behind that mountain right now. We're hoping that we get it. Everybody was very focused, super professional, very serious about the weapons, but we had a good time doing it. Cut it! Totally fucking missed us, bitch! Cut it! So hard! Oh man, that's a great comeback. Those fuckers. Thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for today. We ended episode 513 with an incredible shootout directed by Michelle McLaren. We're now here with Ryan Johnson, and when we come back in in 514, it's the aftermath. So let's hang back even longer, guys. Give we pick up in this eerie calm right after the storm, and so we reveal Hank has been wounded, Gomez is dead and has been shot, uh, and we kind of take it from there. I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna just get fucking shot in the head. That's, that's how it goes out by this fucker right here. This is a really sad day. This is a series out for Dean Norris, and he's, you know, he's been here for six years since this, he's had this amazing arc of this character, and I think he feels pretty conflicted about it. There's all this sand that we had to fucking eat all day, and, I actually got, and, and where I fucking die is on a fucking goddamn rock. I think Dean Norris kind of puts on that blustery yes. exterior because he's such a soft, gooey, he's got a yes. soft, gooey inside. He does. Yeah, he's like, a, he's marshmallowy. Yeah, he is very <laughs> marshmallowy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. No, you made it so. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Tip of the check, right? She kills me and then says, it's my fault. Say it ain't so. You know, we've killed main characters on the show before, but this is our first person from our, you know, the core family of uh, Walter White to die. Mm -hmm. The rest is fucking silence. Well, Steven's on the what? ground. Steven's on the ground? Steven's on the ground. Oh. 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 That All clearly right. means I'm, I'm right behind that. All right. All right. Love you, buddy. All right. Shots! <laughs> no? All right, Dean's down, guys. Here we go. Making it bloody. It was just so much stuff was coming through because I knew it was my last close-up. I knew it was my last scene of six years. I knew all this stuff. And it was saying goodbye to Brian, you know, in real life and also as Hank to Walt. It was saying goodbye to your show. You contemplate your own death for a moment. And, uh, and then you say, all right, you know, let's go. Take me out. All right, here we go. And... Action! What the hell did we just walk into? These guys are DEA. No! No! Jack! 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 No! No! Walt feels like he can summon Heisenberg at any given moment, but I think in this scene, he loses the ability to do so. No! 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 Jack! Stop! Stop! Jack! 
No, the DEA doesn't know about this. And Jack sees Walt for Walt before Walt sees that he's lost that superpower. And you just see everything slipping through Walt's fingers. Sorry, ma'am. It's just no scenario where this guy lives. I, I have money! Jack, as a matter of fact, it was, it was, it was, that was what was compelling about it. When somebody is just doing their job, and just their job happens to be murdering people. Jack, he's direct. I know his point of view. I know what he's thinking. Get rid of the trash, you know, take out the garbage. But for Walt, he can't anticipate that Hank was going to allow himself to be killed. My name is Asak Schrader. You can go fuck yourself. Hank. He says to me, and what do you want me to do, beg? I'm going, yes. And he won't do it. Hank! Moira Wally Beckett did such a beautiful job giving him such a strong and brave exit where, you know, he is still full of pride, he's true to his character, you know, he's not giving in to Walt, he's not giving in to, you know, these Nazis surrounding him with guns. He, you know, he goes out on his own terms. Do what you're gonna do. There was just a moment where you, you, sometimes you just feel it, you know, and there's, it's all quiet, you know. And um, instead of saying, cut, Ryan goes, now that's how you die. <laughs> On one take, Norris. And I saw Mora, and she's like this, you know, and I was like, okay, I affected her too. That was great. That was great. That was great. So. It felt good, you know, and it felt like it was a, that it just all came together. And it wasn't, it, but it was more than just the moment of, of the death itself, because it really was, it was the death of, of the show for me. That was, and I walked off and was done. <laughs>